we are going to other parts of the island. I got stuck here for a week. I got here a week ago. Been here a week. In that week, I started a business, rented a building, fell in love, made a couple music videos, made a name in the community. Yeah. So, a lot's happened this week. I will be coming back here. It looks like I will be setting up a home base here. I've been wanting to do that for years. And I didn't even have a choice. I wasn't planning on doing it here. I just wanted to do it. I was going to do it in L.A. where I'm from. But every, the Pele, as they say, the volcano, just handed it to me. Here you go. Everything you fucking need. It's crazy, dude. citrus trees so she insists that we stop and the old lady who owns the house are and she came out she's like oh yeah take those take over there those are grapefruits those are good so now we're fucking stocked up <laughs> sweet <laughs> well, I thought we got her blessing that was the best part that we got to meet her <laughs> All right, so we're taking the Jeep to the next level. We got a double twin queen size bed in here. So we kind of just stopped foraging and asking people with fruit trees if we can pick some of their fruit. And they say yes. Okay, okay cool. That's kind of funny. <laughs> we have all these fucking oranges. Yeah. We're going to some snacks. Going north. I'm really gonna miss the Jeep, so I put it out to the universe, to Pele. Uh, I'm down for some kind of vehicle like this that can handle anything and I can sleep in it. And gets pretty good gas mileage. So we'll see if that happens and when. Wow, man, I totally wanted an adventure partner since the beginning, and I was like down for anyone, and it's awesome. She's the most rewarding travel partner because she's not easy, yet she is aware, but she is easy, I guess. Like, we don't get along, yet we totally get along. We're both ourselves, Virgo, Pisces, opposites, very strong-willed individuals that don't compromise our integrity, but able to communicate, able to say like, hey, this is how I'm feeling right now. This is what, how, what I think would make it better or worse. Like, how does that feel to you? What do you, what do you think? And then going from there, like finding the best solution. So neither person has to really compromise, but we collaborate. I'm at this trail right now that I don't want to hike. I just want to drive it. Been an interesting couple days. I forgot if I GoPro'd it or not, but you know, they're not bad people. They don't have any bad intention, but you know, sometimes it comes out as, you know, manipulative of other people for their own advantage. And uh, 
um, yeah. So, that girl, whatever, we didn't get that close, but I was starting to feel that she was trying to use sexual energy to manipulate me by the end, and I didn't sleep with her or anything. I didn't even let her. Um, so it just kind of came out. And I think she even realized it, too, that she was just silly. Because um, I really was trying to respect her and, you know, I guess treat her like a princess. I think women should be treated like princesses. But I guess they shouldn't. I guess not all of them should be. With all due respect, a lot of you goddesses out there should be treated like princesses and deserve that. But if you're unable to, I guess, respect it or acknowledge that that's not your divine privilege or divine right to be treated like a princess, that's my decision because I trust you and not not because I have love for you. If I have love for you, I just I'll be myself around you. I'll respect you. I'll treat you like a human being. I'm, I have love for everyone. But I respect you. I trust you. That's like, all right, I'm going to treat you like a fucking princess. And this is not the first time this year where I treated a woman like a princess and uh, didn't really work out. So I say all this coming from a perspective of I want to see where I went wrong. I want to see what I did wrong so I can grow as a person. But this time it was just like, I'm a cautious dude. When I'm camp car camping and doing shit that's not exactly legal, it's gray. I just like to be careful. I don't like to create tension. So when we're accidentally on someone's property that we didn't know and we don't want to be, and I'm like kind of feeling weird, and she's like, you're going to manifest something bad if you're freaking out. And I'm like, no, or it's my intuition and something's just bad going on. Sure enough, two dudes with shotguns show up to the, our car and go, hey, what are you guys doing here? We're like, oh, we just were trying to camp. We're sorry. We, should we leave? Like, yeah, you should probably go. So, oh, sorry about that. We totally. We didn't mean any harm. And I shook their hands and we left. But, dude, it was a fucking meth lab fucking property. And the only reason I ended up there, we ended up there, was because she wasn't happy with the fucking YPO lookout fucking, the lookout parking lot that's open 24 hours where we can legally camp. So anyway, so that just became how I'm a, more or less a bad person. She just started attacking me after that. We left. She told me to take her back to her eco village. And, uh, yeah, she just started attacking me, man. She really hurt my feelings. I haven't been spoken to that aggressively and violently in a long time told me uh, I have an enemy now. Really gnarly. So, I don't know what's going on with her. I, I'm more or less detached from it. I told her I was really sorry. I didn't mean any harm. I don't know. She didn't accept my apology. But anyway, then when we got back, she was like expecting me to like wait till the morning to unpack her stuff, let her sleep in the car. And I'm like, you told me to take you back, dude. <laughs> like, this is it. See ya. So, anyway, then she gave me a hug at the end, and she touched me in a really sexual way, and that's when it all became clear. She's, okay, she's working some magic. And then the night before made sense, too, sleeping in the Jeep. There were no sexual advances on either parts of us, but there was that energy in the, in the Jeep. Really interesting stuff, man. So, anyway, she's a lovely lady, and I wish her well. I mean, in fact, I still want to be friends with her. I don't know when, but... We were doing some cool stuff with music, and I don't really, I don't have anything against her. Everyone's got their shit, myself included. So, anywho, that happened. I'm gonna go back to the airport, give them the car, and then just stick my thumb out and see where I end up. I literally am like starting over, like, all right. I feel like I've dedicated myself to this now, and I kind of signed a lease. That's the thing. I didn't really sign a lease. My business partner signed it. So legally, I have no responsibility, but I fucking gave a commitment. I gave my word, a verbal commitment, that we were doing this together, so I would never back out of that, not until we've discussed it at length. But I don't want to back out of it because I'm really excited about the business, you know? Like, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be really cool. We're going to bring startup culture here. We're going to, like evolve startup culture here not necessarily bring it we're just gonna make our fucking own startup culture there's so much music there's so much really good shit happening here it's time to take it to the internet it's time to take it to the globe let's make this world a better place through empowering ourselves to be ourselves right if we're all ourselves on the planet just doing what we love being passionate like the whole world would be like the whole world would be a much more peaceful 
beautiful, harmonious place to be a part of. We can set that example as fucking first world white people, Americans. Like, shitty that that's how the world works, but it's true, man. Like, we can fucking we can make a huge difference. Just gotta find who we are on the inside. Alright, see ya. You know, I, I started crying. I, I didn't, it's been an emotional day anyway, and I guess the tears are just kind of ready to come out no matter what. But, like, that really is, like, what I'm passionate about. It's like, being me. Like, just be me, man. Like, I just want to be me. I don't want to not be me. And, like, it's putting me in these situations that suck. But at the same time, they're so great. Because they challenge me, and they help me grow. And they help me, like, focus on what's real. Like, what's going on right here and now. Like, look at my health. You know, like all the people I love are alive. Look at this beautiful scenery in front of me. Like, I just want to be me, man. And it's never comfortable to be yourself in a society like ours, in a civilization like ours, on a planet where currency and these arbitrary things that an elite uses to rule us keep us in check so we don't be ourselves, keep us living in this fear. Tourist driving too fast in his rented uh, Camaro convertible. <laughs> yeah, man. So, for those of you like that haven't figured me out, if it hasn't been obvious enough, fucking be yourself, man. Just be yourself. That's why I love this island, man. Everyone's just themselves. They're just, they don't judge anyone. They fucking love. They give me big hugs. They sing songs. They sing songs about you being yourself. Them being the 